This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. I want to just congratulate myself. On, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I know football, and and uh, I want to thank you guys <laughs> for playing, and I want to thank you guys for suggesting that the 49ers were going to win. But you know, guys, it's all about digging deep, and and Mahomes as a football Mahomes. aficionado, and you know, I know my football. Um, he's he's arguably the goat. If you had a, if you had to choose a football player, I'm going to make an argument. And you tell me how I am. If I had to choose a football player, of all the football, quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. Of, uh, any quarterback of all time, I choose Mahomes for the following reason. Number one, you can't get more athletic. He's so rugged, he can take a hit. Lamar Jackson more athletic. But 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 uh, he's every bit as athletic as you need to run. He just he's just kills you. He breaks he checks your back that every box. Time. The most important thing is I don't see that guy ever miss his receiver. It's just unbelievable. He puts it in their hands no matter what he's doing, throwing across his body or whatever, and somehow he just gets it done and is completely clutch every single time. Yep. He's the GOAT. Yep. True or false? That's it. <laughs> That's my assessment. But I thought about it. I was, I was actually thinking about how, you know, when you look at these great quarterbacks like Brady, so he was so accurate. He just would always hit, always hit, always hit. Um, but that was in a particular, I think, again, offense, where he's a drop back passer, he's pa sat in the pocket and he could throw. Mahomes can sit in the pocket and throw, he can run, he can do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it just seems like I've never seen the guy under the most, the most egregious pressure miss. He just doesn't miss. He does He definitely miss. lives up to the moment. That's for, when they gave him two minutes. I text my brother. I'm like, "Oh, we're screwed." Because we're going for the Niners. I'm like, "We're screwed." Yeah. Two minutes with Mahomes. This is what he. This is what he does. Jesus. He's been there before. This is what he does. Yeah. It was such a bummer. Why was um Why was Kelsey screaming at Andy Reid? We don't know yet. Kelsey came out because he's taking a lot of heat for it. It's weird. He, Kelsey came out and was like, "I tell him how much I love him." I think he was pissed. He pulled him out when they fumbled. He, they pulled him out. Of the, he was in on the field, so he was pissed about that. But even Andy Reid was like, he's like, he does it before. He's like, usually I give it back to him because I, I was off balance. <laughs> no, he was. He was, he was, he was like, like oh. what the He was like, oh, my like God. This giant guy, what if I? Because I want to see. Let's see if we can read his lips. Can, can you bring that clip up? I want to see what he was saying there. Looks like he's mad. He's mad he took him out of the game. Took him out. I mean, that's a little much there. Jesus. But he was also open. That was the argument. Yeah, like, but he's uh, but Andy Reid's like, what do you want me to do? Okay, man, what Kelsey, do you want me to do? That's where he realized what. Kelsey back. balled out in the the fourth, but he was pretty quiet before that, so I'm sure he's frustrated. And his girls in the stands, a lot emotions. of pressure in the stands. Be a lot of pressure in the box. There it is. You know, yeah. But um, I and I, I'm a Kelsey fan. I like Kelsey. I like Andy Reid, dude. If this is any other player, look at him. Get out of here. He's yeah. done. If that's any other, if that was look at Tyreek, he he touches him, pushes him over, like he not. Hmm. He looks more and more like his brother. He's put on some weight. Um, it might <laughs> yeah, be the beard. It might be the beard, but he looks like really heavy right now. I, if I, that's I, any I other, like if that's any other player, if that's Tyreek Hill, if that's Antonio Brown, he's not playing. No, is that like, right? No, really. Yeah, it's just. Do you remember when? Um, if that was. Remember when Brett Rob Favre, Gronkowski, like, it, like it's just not a black white thing. If right. that's, if that's Nick Bosa to Kyle Shanahan, like they're screwed. Really? Yeah. Kelsey's a special guy. Do you, do Kel you Kel but Kelsey's always been a but hot. But that's also head. the Super Bowl, and you got to get him. You, he's too much of a weapon. You can't do that. Yeah. It's like that's very frowned upon. Well, of course. If that's anybody else when, besides you, Taylor Swift's boyfriend, yeah, they're probably not playing. Wow. That's unheard well, of. Well, well, Even Brett Favre, and I'm a fan. Remember when that with the coach for Vikings, what was his name, was trying to t pull Favre out, and Favre was like, "No, oh. I'm not going." Remember that? He was like, yeah. "I'm going back in. Fuck off." I that wasn't even this, but this was like, like even and again, I'm a Kelsey fan. He him. So I was he, like, he bumped him. Yeah, I look, I, I looked at my father. And I'm like, oh my god, like dude, anybody else? That guy's well, it looked fuck. like it looked like he said fuck you, but first I was like, oh my no, god. No, he didn't say fuck. He looked like but get, get me back on the fucking feet, like uh, okay, get me on the fuck on the. But field. you want that passion, yeah. but there's just a and I they're also very close. Like oh, they are super close okay. with them and super close to Patrick Mahomes, but still, it's, it's just like father son shit. I, I've never done there that. My, my dad would beat the shit out of me. There's <laughs> no, you can't do that. And I've never seen that. He, he, fucking the enemy was like Jesus. Henry, Henry, I'm see, Henry to, goes. I usually I'm ready for. I just lost my power. I'm trying to run a fucking football. I'm he, sure Kelsey no. re regrets that. I don't think he does. Reed said before the game that like 
Kelsey's always had a temper. You know, he was young at first, but he's grown into his own. And I think he's gotten a lot better. And then that happened. Yeah. Like, he was just angry that he wasn't getting passes. Like, he, he was clearly That's what pissed. it is. Yeah, but he's frustrated. He he was in the fought. Of course they have. They're oh, brothers. Yeah. Yeah, they're not gay, dude. <laughs> they're brothers. Brothers fight. It's a lot of meat smashing into each other. Yeah, but there's just any brothers fight. <laughs> I, that's what I, they do. I think. I think. I think is. Uh, I think. Uh, what's his name? Jason is uh, probably. I'm gonna. I'm putting my money on him. I don't know. Tra probably. Travis is. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I. Yeah, it was just a weird thing. Now it, this would be a much bigger story if they lost. That's right. They won. Everyone's like, yeah, whatever. They won. But yeah. if they would have lost, I think. It, I someone put this in a tweet because it shows him yelling at Andy Reid, and they, they go, God. He's just so unlikable. When what? I saw that, I'm like, I get it. When you yell at the coach, like he's not doing himself any favors there. The thing with Travis Kelsey, and again, I'm a huge fan of him. You're just, he's in oh, Mahomes too at this point. It's just overexposure. Like we mm. can, uh, the Taylor Swift, yes, yes, yes. it's just, okay, yeah. we got it. Yeah. Like building up to the Super Bowl, kind of the Chiefs it, yeah. aren't the better team. They shouldn't have won. They, the only reason they won is for mistakes from the Niners. They shouldn't okay. have won that game. The missed field goal. We're not. This isn't even discussion. They don't miss that fucking extra point. The the botched punt. The, it's just they, they made a million mistakes and lost that game. The amount of press on the Chiefs leading up to this, it was like the Niners are just some schmuck team. Mm -hmm. It's all Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, Taylor, Taylor Swift. Ninety yeah. percent of the coverage leading up to this is all Chiefs. It was so strange. So what do you me. think of it's the, just overexposure? Yeah. I think enough the fan base, and again, I like Taylor Swift. I like Travis Kelsey, even though he's a cuck. I like Andy Reid. So but Wait, what did you say? It, well, you know, the Pfizer boy. So it like <laughs> all this on, stuff. Dude. All this come how on, much do they pay you, bro? Come, bro, on, come on, dude. Take but, it. And he's wait, all right, dude. Come on. So, uh, come, dude on. Come, come on, bro. I gotta know how much I gotta know how much you got paid. You want a fucking Super Bowl, have some respect, I know, bro. He barely showed up. Bro. That's why he's so mad. Come on. No, they shouldn't have won that game. But dude, all this stuff. I think the audience just goes, okay, we got it. You know, it's not their fault. It's the media. The NFL put a Taylor Swift highlight reel oh, I after the Super Bowl. insane. From oh, her yeah. in the box. Oh, yeah. They're well, just trying to capitalize on it. what's interesting about it is that this is a, I felt like if you look at the commercials and stuff, some of it was wokey wokey, but for the most part, if you think back to how how Black Lives Matter-y the, the league was, and it it's like now the commercials and everything, you can see that they're, they've been super careful. You've got this traditional couple, like this blue, but sort of essentially, let's call them blonde hair, blue eyed people from the Midwest. It's commercial. They, they, they just are, they just are as traditional. Who are you school, talking about right now? Kelsey, Kelsey and, uh, oh, and Taylor Swift. gotcha. So, so that, that, that image of conservative America, like, you know, straight white football player star cheerleader you know essentially you know the, the, the look that that's that's what's being pushed forward and then the commercials were they were well, like, being pushed forward because they're because sh she's so what i'm saying but most it's famous person on the yeah planet. but 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 it's still like it, there's something traditional about it there's something americana <laughs> she's a about, about right? the jesus commercial the washing yeah. of the feet one yeah. they have the most money i yeah. mean but also like them the, commercials were, the commercials where they wouldn't her so they just Pack a bunch of celebrities in the commercials. Like, we're not sure what to do here. We don't want to be too. Yeah, we don't want any budget. backlash. No, the best commercial by far what, was like? Dunkin'. No, Dunkin' Donut. Oh, okay. Ben oh, Affleck like with J Lo, and he comes in, and it's Matt one. Matt Damon. That was good. Oh, and Tom Brady, and they come in as a rap group oh, and interrupt their meeting. Oh, it was the best. That was it was good. by far the, the best. One I didn't see. And Matt Damon's like, I don't want to. The Chris Walken one was good. It was all right. They played that before the Super Bowl. Yeah. The the Dunkin' Donuts was. You didn't see. It's so good. Didn't see. Which one was the one with uh? Because a lot of I was watching it in a very loud jelly roll. That was Bud Light. The uh, where the, Bradley Cooper was juggling and oh, uh, Fight isn't that Pfizer? This one I Pfizer. Remember. This one I saw. I think that was Uber Eats. We can't play it anyway. Yeah, man. Jelly rolls was great. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the Dunkin' Donuts by far the funniest. And Matt Damon, he's like, it's tough to be a friend, man. He made him do like a rap video for J-Lo. He's like, I don't want to do this. And they're dressed ridiculous. It was great. By far the best one. He said, remember when I said I'd do anything for you? This was anything. Yeah, he's like, dude, yeah, I don't want to be here. He's like, I'm so sorry. That's a lot. Yeah, he was great. Uh, the commercials weren't wonderful. No. Not okay. like they used to be. Mm -mm. <laughs> Tom Brady was in, I think, two or three. That Tom Brady, Kennedy. Tom, Tom, I mean, the, uh, Tim Kenny was the, uh, the, the no the uh, JFK. JFK. That was interesting. Be, RFK. RFK. That was interesting yeah. because they they you know what they did you know how that, what that commercial is, 
No. They took an old John F. Kennedy commercial oh, and just sick. put his face on sick. it. Kind of genius, right? Wow. Yeah. yeah. He's still not going to win with Sid. No, but it was like a, a harken back to before the digital age. You know, it's that's like, great. Yeah. Here yeah, you I go. thought it was cool. Again, that's what I mean by traditional. It's like yeah. that you can see right. America goes right back to these old school traditional things that worked. Like the minute the NFL, the minute the NFL, and you were talking about this, well, the minute the NFL started getting super cr- Oof. progressive, Oof. people were like, I'm out. Mm-hmm. I'm out. The was, NBA can do it because different fan base, the ratings are down, but the NFL, that's yeah. religion here, but It is. That is. I mean, you mess with the NFL? I've been in LA too long, and one of the things that I was talking to him about being in, in Florida was I'm in this comp, like we bought a house in this community, you know? Slight and flags. all of those kids, all of those people there are, they're, they're American, some of them working class, middle class. And there's this big amenity center with three pools and all this stuff. It's like stuff. a rec center? Yeah. And all the kids go there. And all the families go there. And all the blocks know each other. And the whole block has, they all get together. They watch the Super Bowl together. They go to games together. They, the soccer fields are across the street. I've been so removed from this shit living in this fucking town where you have to drive your kids to every single appointment where there isn't any of that community. Mm. And... And I told Brian, I, said, I, was like, I have that hair, Bubba. I was like, that like is... The that's why, East, I'm, I have the exact... Yeah, because I, I your kids hair. play sports. Sports, and then they family, all get, You get to know all the kids. families. They're yeah, all blue man. collar. Well, on the weekend, that's where I'm at on the weekend. Yeah. Like, that's my crew. Now. And you can ingest this idea that you need a shitload of money to be happy. And I know it's cliche, but we do live in a culture, and I'm talking about LA culture, where it's just <clears> grind, grind, grind. Try to, you know, you're comparing with people. And then you see how a lot of the world works and you go, oh man, you guys are so fucking happy. And you have a, a, a an idea of what's actually really important. These kids are not on their fucking phones. They're playing all day. They're playing sports. Again, that's on parents, though, B. It's on parents. It's on all the parents. It's on parents. Yeah. This woman, I was, we were at her house, and I said, my, my wife said, they have six kids. My wife said, do you see how every single one of them is with us and they're playing? My, my son's playing with trains. They're playing with my son. They're doing all this stuff. She goes, not one of them has been on a tablet or a phone. Not one. I'm telling you, in LA, B, that is non-existent for me. Where you're at. I know. Out here, it's, it's normal. And I'm not here, saying I'm normal. I'm saying I'm the one with the I know, problem. I know. And then, and then you, you gotta see get that. Out of it. And she goes, Oh, there are no phones in my house. These kids, they're not allowed to. I was like, But you have a 17 year old. She goes, She's not, not in my no. house. He's not doing that. Wow. As long as you live in my house, you're, you're here with us. You're not on your fucking phone. And I was like, Damn. Damn it. And it's sick. It is sick that I'm saying this, that that's weird for me. It's sick mm-hmm. that I'm going, Oh my God, that's so new. No, that's normal. You know, Santa Monica, Los Angeles is not normal. L.A. proper is not. It's normal. just not, man. It's not normal. And and I, I like I people were talking about. We should actually talk, we'll talk about this when we do the live podcast, which is this Thursday, everybody in Vulcan, Austin. Yes, Vulcan Gas Company. I can't wait. In One Austin. show only. Yeah. But but um, where we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about this basically some more. But you know, people say, oh, Brennan retired from comedy. No, you didn't retire from comedy. No. Right now, you're doing shit with your family and your kids that is so much more important yes. and so much more fun. Mm-hmm. It, she, when I went to the bathroom in my friend's house, um, I was t- taking a pee and, and she said, the most important work that you will ever do is within the four walls of your own home. And it sounds like a cliche thing true, but it's fucking true when you have kids. That's all. Let's take a little break. Can Brandon. we take a break? This Thursday, if you guys want to laugh and you want to get privy to some great stuff and might have some very special guests, we're talking about Fighter and Kiv is live in Austin at the Vulcan Gas Company, 10 o'clock. One night one only. Show one show only, only buddy. One show only. So come come get some. And we'll be whenever. buzzing. We'll be buzzing. It's going to be so much fun. Uh-huh. That's hard for me to sleep. That's why I bring my freaking five daily buzz gummies. Mm-hmm. Five day buzz gummies after a show gets me right so I can finally wind down. Well, it contains shows. full spectrum CBD and THC in a potent five to one ratio. And that is a dose you can feel. It chills me out, man. Five is fully legal and ships to all 50 states. Third party lab tested up six times stronger than their competitors. Wow. Grow in the U.S. of USA. A. You can get it for free by visiting 5cbd.com slash fighter. Yeah. Well, it, all of them are CGMP and U.S. Hemp Authority certified. So you know you're getting the very best. Go to 5cbd.com slash fighter and get your $40 bottle for free. Just pay shipping and handling. That's 5cbd.com slash fighter. F-I-V-E-C-B-D dot com forward slash fighter. Hey, Brennan, there's a bike out there. I see you riding around. I see you recklessly riding around. 
And I want to know. And it moves. It's a fancy looking bike. Talk you know me. me. I don't like electric cars, but I like electric bikes. Well, yep. Because I can get to Irwan from here. You keep I saying electric bikes, not electric. Are you talking about electric? I'm talking about electric e-bikes, Like L-E-C-T-R-I-C e-bikes? Dude, uh -huh. and this thing is fast. Anybody can ride it. Designed for a better mode of transportation for everybody involved. It's super durable. I've charged this thing once. I ride it every Wait a day. Their bikes, I'm looking at, their e-bikes started $7.99 with XP Lite. That's electric bikes. Hold on. Because most of the time, electric bikes, the electric bikes I've seen are $3,500 or something crazy. So this is interesting. Yeah, but man. You guys it's have been riding than around ever. Ships free. Comes fully assembled. It, it's foldable. So it's easy to travel with if you want to put it in your car. Again, I unboxed this thing, put it together in, I don't know, two minutes. Yep. Charged it. I, I haven't it. charged it since. Really? Now, you, you see me in the mornings. I ride every morning. I do. This so lasts forever. And you can finance this thing as low as $49 a month. Uh, electric e-bike um that's pretty wild chips free. i use it to run air fully assembled yeah. that's what's crazy that's why i said it's super easy to put and together foldable it's foldable for easy travel and storage yep i run it up to the grocery store to air one to get coffee has up to 150 miles on one charge Damn. yeah man Damn. It goes forever it goes forever that's crazy Explore 2024 with electric e-bikes, the most accessible and adventurous e-bike ever. The design's well. The Spell it for him again. Quality's L great. L-E-C-T-R-I-C ebikes.com. Um, I got to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you, I bought my wife an electric bike, um, and I spent way too much money on it. And I'm looking at that thing that thing's right sweet now. Looking, right? It is sweet looking. Yeah, I love and it. And it's better looking than the thing I spent a lot of money on. Way better. Yep. Wow. Go to L E C T R I C E bikes dot com for the best electric bike on the market. It looks sweet. Visit electric e bikes dot com to learn more and be sure to mention that Fighter and the Kid sent you. Spell it in out. In the form. post checkout survey. I'll spell it again. It's L E C T R I C E bikes dot com. Yeah. I mean and also like the it's the these, you know, age basically one to 14 you're never getting that back can i do stand up to um uh, can i do every weekend 100 yeah. percent. but um, i'm missing games i'm missing you know and i'm, I coach, up, I'm coaching as well yeah I fucked it's up. not worth it i, say that. I, I would well, well no, I, i'm true. trying to make it right but but you know for the first my daughter is one took all the shit my daughter was 15 now you know i i was i was gone i was always on the road i was trying to make my name and i did real well and I, you know, I, I made lots of money and all that shit. And none of that matters. Was, whatever, I wasn't. I was on a TV show. Podcast, none of that matters. I'm telling you, none of it matters. Your kids don't give a fuck. Of course it doesn't. What the, 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 the what they so care how about? Much, how much did when, I miss? When, I missed, yeah, I missed, I missed all my you, kids. When you're on the days. road and you missed the birthday, I miss dude. everything. Dude, okay. I missed her birthday. I missed her fucking, you know, everything. And and I'll never, I'll never live it down. But but I'll make it right. You can I make got, it right. Being being present now, yep. like being gone all the time, ain't the move. And I'll never remember, never forget when I first started doing stand up at Kevin Nealon, we're at the airport. And he goes, Oh, where are you at? And I'm telling him, I'm like, Yeah, next week I'm in Oklahoma. And the week after that, I'm in Palm Beach. And he goes, You have kids? And he goes, Man, the disappointment on his face. Yeah. He was like, This ain't it, bud. It's not. He was it. like, This ain't it. But I want to make you two feel a little better. Like, my dad is a normal guy, normal Joe Schmo, owns mm -hmm. his own business, right? When I grew up, my dad worked six, seven days a week. Yes. I didn't see my dad often. Yeah. Okay. So That's, please yeah. like. Your, no, dad, your right. dad didn't have a choice. He didn't have a choice, right? We have because a choice. Because he had to provide for We have a choice. Yeah. But did you? The, yes. You're trying I to didn't. provide I, for I, In a way, you're right. We didn't. Bubba. You're we providing didn't. for in your a way, In a way, we, you know, it, this is a motherfucker, this gig. Let's be honest. You want to compete? You yeah. got to keep writing. You got to come up with ideas. You're, you, let's be honest. The, it's just a hustle. But it's a hustle. And it's okay. At some point, but yeah. It, it, you you got to, there, there's a balance. You can find the balance, but a balance. in order to get where you're going, that there's no balance. If you, if you want to sell at Mass Square Garden, there's if you no want to sell at the forum, there's no balance. So if getting to Mass Square Garden and doing the forum and selling out every show is the goal, that's fine. And I do your thing. But as far as it, it, it's impossible, it doesn't exist. There's no way to do that and be a full time dad. It's impossible. Uh, I had a, somebody I really respect who is a made all the money, but also a real family man and has true balance in their lives. Um, I was talking to him about how sometimes I feel in this town like a failure because um, I have friends that are uber successful and I have trouble sometimes with it because I'm a certain age and you know it's been a tough three and a half years or whatever, but I'm also really blessed and lucky. But I was thinking about it and he said, 
He said, what, what, how do you, what, are you, what are you talking about with success? I go, I, you know, I want to sell such and such tickets and all that, and I want to do that. And he said, he said um, I'm just going to tell you that you could ruin your kids' lives and children's lives are ruined by when a parent achieves every metric of success they've set for themselves. So you could, you could hit every metric that you've set for yourself to be successful and ruin your kids' lives just by the nature of being that busy, that rich, that successful. That's the thing, what, what, what's it worth to you? Well, look, Chris DiStefano and Burke Kreischer were crying on a podcast, and I, I even text Chris. I was like, this is beautiful because Chris- DiStefano like, switched his ways, though. I know. He's the one who called me. He's not on social media anyway. If someone runs it, he, uh, he's doing less road gigs. Yeah. He's like, I'm cutting back, man. Yeah. I have to be there for you my You could see it. He was, he was crying. Bert was like, cried and just does his thing, but that's Bert, and his yeah. kids are older now. They're in college, yes. but Bert, I tell you, he, he, he fucked up. Yeah. He missed a ton of stuff. You, you, Bert's you one of the- price greatest people in the world but yep. it comes with it there's a it's a heavy heavy it's price a heavy, to pay it's a heavy price and i'm not saying that you know for me it's not worth it so some guys like no it's worth it man because then i can send my kid to this school that's all good but like my boy leaster bowling great dad he's been coaching he's his uh kid's coach his kid got a full ride to iowa for wrestling what i text him i went what i text him I went, Damn. oh you made it dude there's no greater achievement in life. Oh, that's cool. such a big deal. Like if I if Lisa went to Iowa and got a scholarship, that's cool. That's you doing your thing. To raise your son, he got a full ride. That'd be like getting a football scholarship to Alabama. <sighs> dude, I went, oh dude, you He's a Hawkeye? Yeah. Full Holy ride. shit. Little Lisa's a dude, Hawkeye. What? I didn't you tell know, you this. I don't think people I realize. Saying no, this. but I don't think people realize what that is. That's the <laughs> most like that is so difficult. <laughs> That is, like, I went to, you know, I went to Dan Gable's no, camp, and, I and, and I was like, oh, this is what D1 wrestling is? Oh, no thanks. That If you can push yourself through that Hawkeye program, you can do anything. Mm. You can do anything. But yeah, he had a, point is, he had a full ride. It's crazy. A full ride. Full ride. Full scholarship. Getting a Division One full ride is hard enough as is, but getting it to Iowa? Yeah, it's a whole thing. And then think, think about little Easter. His, Easter bowling, his, my coach, and then his dad, Wrestled at, I, th I forget what, is the Juco College, same as Ben Henderson, somewhere in Nebraska, but he was solid and like legend in high school. And then his, their dad was like undefeated in high school, but no one went to Iowa. <laughs> so then you have little Easter goes, cool, got it, downloaded that info. Cool, got it, downloaded that info. Now I'm going to be better than both of you. <laughs> that's, su that's success. Yes, I that, agree. You've won, dude. 100%. You've made it. Like that, I was like, oh my God, dude. That, like you won. As a dad, you won. Yeah. Insane. So what do you think then, B? Like, look, you're, everything you do is for your kids. Yes. Obviously, there's things you could have done differently. But look at, like, what you're doing for Tiger, right? Yes. How are you going to feel when one day, you know, he's going to get that D1 scholarship? That, what, that's the, I mean, and it's not even sports. Like, if that's what he wants to do, great. But it's just about being there. Hmm. And, like, I missed a lot of time because when I was coming up in stand-up, you know, I've been headlining nine years now. Tiger's will turn eight this month. Those first five years, I was on the road every single weekend. First five years of his life. That's what he knows. That ain't normal, man. No, that ain't not. good. So for Boston, I pulled back. Oh, I messed up. Pulled back. Now for the baby girl, pulled all the way back. It's just not. How's your baby girl? She's doing better. Still a fight, you know, but she's doing better. Good. But it's just, you know, it's priorities. You and know, I'd you rather know, make less money and. Two, two, two things about life. Cars, yeah. you know, and figure things out. I'll figure it out. I always do. Two but things I'm about there. life. There's life is trade offs, and you as a person are flawed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're always going to try to get better. You always need help, but you're, you know, it's, 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 it is what it is. It's trade offs, and you're going to look back and always say, "I made this mistake. I made that mistake." But you keep moving forward. So it's yeah, cool, you, yeah. You don't say it enough times when it comes to the kids, you know. Now. Where I live in Florida now, now <laughs> got me me a toddler, a two year old. You understand? And <clears throat> well, I was like, oh, there are a bunch of water like ponds, and I was like, no, it's gators? all good. Big gators, yeah, oh. down in Florida, like about seven, eight footers, just I don't, I don't sunning themselves. And I go, that is no. my kid can't go near there, and yeah. either can a fucking dog. So everybody's got their dog, and you watch your kid. You don't. Florida you a little don't too comfortable kid, around those right body. You water. can't have your two year old near the edge of that water because that's very dangerous. No, that's. So part, I'm like, that, look, I'm looking at fucking. Kid got took at Disney World. I said to the neighbors, I go, "There's an eight foot. That that's an eight footer." Because I was I was hunting them. 
where are you at? Like a marsh where people are swimming? No, so, so, you ever been to Florida? No, no, no. It's all not water. Not that part. It's, no, no, no. no. Every, everywhere. There's just water everywhere. Go go to go to the everywhere. go to that the huge gator. There's a gator on the on a golf course. Remember that one where yeah. they saw that thing that was like literally fifteen feet? It was a it was Godzilla. Okay. That is that is one one uh uh sort of housing community away from me. One. That's where no. that thing right there. No. Nope. Yes, that I'm thing out. right there. Look at that. That's one housing community away. <laughs> That's a dinosaur. That's it a dinosaur. Literally, is a dinosaur. Yeah, but they're they, everywhere. In they grow uh, an inch a year when they after they after about seven years, they grow about an inch a year. So you're talking about an eighty year old animal right there. They live till how old? They can live. They don't know. They think they live over a hundred years easy. Point is, Florida, you just don't Look at you don't touch any water. No. Get away Unless from it's that. like a wreck pool, you don't fuck with any water and, in Florida. And people get eaten a lot of times because what happens is they're walking their dog. So there are two times you get eaten. One is mating season when the males are a little more aggressive. No. Two, because you're on their territory. Two is when you have a dog and you're walking too close to a waterway and the old alligator comes out of the water, grabs that dog. Now you try to protect your dog and it grabs your arm and you're elderly and it goes, I'm going to take this. Actually, oh. this tastes good. Yeah. Old people and gators don't mix. No, you're getting sucked back in. Yeah. Sucked. Sucked. Well, now I want to know how many people a year die from that. Two. <laughs> hey, 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 it's, a, hey, it's not that many. No, no, no. It's, okay. like, it's actually six. Maybe one. It's like six or okay. something. Bring it up, Jen. How many people yeah. die from alligators in the United States? I think States? it's like six. But you know, um, uh, they, they're, 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 they were all up in arms in this Facebook uh, group at my community because they, uh, let me see. Six. Huh, you got yeah, it. Six. Yeah, hey, they, so not they, really a problem. More people die of peanuts. Correct, correct. <laughs> but they, they were um, they, they were talking about how these like this gang of boys they were like ten and eleven and they were tormenting the gators. Uh, and I was like, that's what boys do. Well, of course they were because that's called a hunting game. They don't even know what they're doing. They're just like doing something primal. Where they're but also, don't do that, man. Of course, but they're. But when you're 10 and 11, you're like, you're going to throw stones and fuck with the gator and touch his tail and run back. Ah. You're not going to hurt him until no. that gator turns around. They but everybody's like, what the fuck? It's like, uh -huh. Yeah. It's a Facebook yeah. group, though? I'm not on it. My wife is. I'm, I'm not God. On it. I don't even know how to be on a Facebook group. Nerd alert. I know. But boy, she... My, Biggest my wife, problem at the rec center in Florida. Oh, boys man. are harassing my, my, the gators. My wife does all the shopping on there, though. People are getting rid on of Facebook? everything. Oh. You want a bed for 50 bucks? It's brand new. Boom. Facebook. You want night oh, tables? Weird. Boom. Oh, dude. She's just. Oh, there's like a Facebook marketplace? Oh, bro. That's what it is. Made Facebook. My, my yeah. wife is the best at finding deals. She's unbelievable. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? What'd you Try do for that. the Super Bowl? Or Chin didn't watch it. Nope. You didn't, huh? Oh, well, you, I don't care about Super. You're just not into it. Not American. <laughs> That's what I told him. <laughs> That's what all of it. It's an American. Not an American. Holiday, an oh, American. The 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 biggest American cultural event. But I don't have regular TV. I have YouTube. Oh. They have it on YouTube TV. I still didn't want to watch it. Okay, I didn't okay. care for did it. Did you watch fishing or what did you? do? I did watch YouTube fishing videos and camping videos. Okay, it's kind of American. Yeah. So Naz, what'd you do for the Super Bowl? I'm, I'm like embarrassed right now. I I, I watched uh, from home. I watched from home. I kept it. Classy and that's not embarrassing. What's yeah. embarrassing about it? At least you watched that. He it. didn't watch. She's Super embarrassed Bowl? from me. Oh, apparently. him? Yeah, that's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. You goddamn no. communist. Now you uh, do you do you do you have do you want communism at this in this country? Or what do you uh, like right now? The way you guys are acting, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Kidding. Did you see Biden's tweet? No. I, I, I how it's not a parody account is nutsos with the red eyes. It was like this going according to plan. Uh, let me see. Is it Dark Brandon? This is, is this is from his account. This is not a parody account. <gasps> That's real. No. Okay. That's I real. Saw this. Yeah, yeah, I heard them talking about that. Just, Just like, like we drew it up. Okay. What? It's Dark Brandon. Very strange. How weird is that? That's his social media. So thing. evil. Does he think this was going to go over well? I don't know. How wild is that? Isn't that weird for your president yeah. of the United States to post that? Dark Brandon? I don't get it. Ah, oh, man. A oh, woman brings seven year old Boy, child with her when she opens fire in yeah, no, Joel Osteen's no, church. I, yeah. I got to say, guys, I'm actually really impressed. And I think this is the only time we can ever say this. You both have the same brand of shoes on today. I know. Golden Goose, we've been Every doing. Every now and then we Once do. Once you start wearing the old Golden Gooses. B can't really get on you today for your shoes. No. No, very rare. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I've been wearing the crap out of mine. Well, don't do that. Because See, they, when you they do... feel they're comfortable. They're handmade, so you just kind of feel... Mm. Yeah, I don't know what it is. They're comfy, though. That is the weirdest post by a president. Dude, how dead is mainstream media? When Tucker Carlson interviews Putin, I mean, it's... What'd you think? Did you watch it? I watched the whole thing. I didn't watch the whole thing. It's a lot. It's a lot to get through. I, I saw. I saw the he main. Gives you a long I history the main lesson. Points. He goes all the way back to the ninth century. Hey, like, this hey, is a guy. How smart is he, though? Yeah, I mean, for a dictator, you're not. No, this is a very smart man. But but how, how about him and Biden? If they were going to debate, good luck, Bubba. Yeah, the man's versed in history. Yeah, he is. He um, he's just so stale. The problem with with Putin is he's been in power for 25 years, so he's just not used to anybody editing him or telling him to shut for up. Sure. Or, you know, it's just. There's a long kind of thing about basically what he was saying was Ukraine's a part of Russia, always has been. And they, then he said, we, we are in there to denazify Ukraine, which was like, oh, boy, okay. <laughs> you know, um, that, that's an issue. Um, so. Point is, Tucker's, I mean. Yeah. It's not. I'm glad he interviewed him. I think it's important to interview. I, I want to hear. How from big someone. is Tucker? I mean, it's just mainstream so screwed. He said, "I'm out." Yeah, it got he's like doing his own thing. Fourteen million views on it's wild. YouTube alone. And, wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, he said he goes. You know, I think it's. I think we should hear from everybody. You know, I want to hear from a dictator or whatever you want to call him. I want to hear from you know. Yeah, I'd love to get his side of the story because we we know what Ukraine's telling us, what the United States is telling yeah. us, but we it's one sided. Love to hear from the other guy. It, it, it strengthens your side if you are willing to listen to the other side too it's not going to threaten anything just listen to him and then you can i have why, are you, so I listen, why are you so scared yeah, when for i listen the, for them to, to get their peace yeah I, when i listen to putin it actually brought me more closer to the american side than it did russian side but Ooh, not me it, for me it did um i think that the premise is at the end of the day if you think you can just invade a country uh, then that sets a very dangerous premise in general, you know. And if your justification is that this this is our country, we can go back to the ninth century, and also we had to denazify it, there's a lot of stuff there that that you could make an argument for. There's a lot, but it's okay. I don't think America should be involved either way, but we have big enough problems here. Yeah, um, the the only issue that you'll always the the pushback you'll always get on every question like that is if we don't stop it well no somebody else jumps in somebody else jumps in right so so for example if you pulled out of the middle east and there's a good argument to not be there now but if you pull out of the middle east who would jump in damascus you'd have syria and turkey in there we pulled out of afghanistan how'd that go and we were Uh, there for 20 years how'd that go yeah i mean it was very mismanaged you know very mismanaged very poor poorly done so yeah what else you got jen uh, one sec. Are you excited <coughs> for the fights this weekend, bud? I'd like to go through them. You don't, You just found out there's fights no, this no, weekend. No, no, another fights. Anaheim, right? Mm-hmm. Is Joe coming to those? Joe Rogan? Yes. He's the commentator for the UFC. <laughs> no, but he usually doesn't. A lot of times he won't travel. No. The, in This one he's California. Coming. It's North America. He'll travel anywhere in North America. Yep. He just um, doesn't do international fights. Yeah, we've talked about these. I am. Uh, we haven't talked about these. Yeah, we have. We talked about mm-hmm. this. We covered. Yeah, we, just, we talked about some of it. Yeah. Well, we should. Well, then talk we're good. About it, though. <laughs> we covered no, no, it last we didn't, weekend. We didn't, we didn't go into detail though. We just were looking at it and seeing who was fighting. So you know, we talked about how you you think uh, Henry Cejudo is going to have a really hard time with Marab. Uh it's three rounds though. If it was five, definitely more difficult time. But now mm-hmm. that it's three, we'll see. We'll see how Marab does. Uh, how successful he is with the takedowns against a, a gold medalist. Yeah, it's going to be a very different thing. Um, Jeff Neal, Ian Machado, Gary. <laughs> Love that fight. Why? Um, a, it's a tougher fight for Ian Gary, but B, the the shit storm of the toxic right. media is blown out. Nobody's yes. talking about it now. So now, now he can just focus on fighting. Tougher fight for him, though. Jeff Neal beat Vicente Luque and knocked him out. So it's, it's a tougher fight. And Jeff Neal is a striker as well. I don't know much yeah. about him. You went toe-to-toe with Shavkat? He's a tough character, man. Mm-hmm. Paulo Costa, Robert Whitaker. Paulo looks in phenomenal shape. Yeah. For him, you know, last time he fought was Luke Rockhold. Didn't look great. No. Before that, you know, he lost uh, to Vittori. Before that, he lost to Izzy. So he lost to Vittori. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. We sure? Bring huh. it up, Jim. 
Wow. Decision, damn. Yeah, you know, um, and they had, you know, he didn't show up for a lot of fights. Yeah, so like I, it's I, don't, I don't know what to expect out of him. Beast. Yeah, he did, he's not going to blow your hair back with that Luke Rockhold performance. Mm. Robert Whitaker coming off a loss to DDP. I, I I feel like Robert Whitaker. I've seen that guy fight many times. He he's as great as he is. He's taken a lot of punishment, man. A lot. How old is Whitaker now? Twenty nine. 33 33 still young still young but he's been through some wars man some what were wars 32 is kind of the marker where guys start to fall off mm. 32 is the key there hell of a career tough to bet against whitaker there really yeah really oh yeah huh really you got paulo i do Based off what is the rock Based fight? off of I think I feel like Paulo is, um, I feel like he has taken less damage, and I feel like he's just uh, still more in his prime than say Whitaker. Oh and wow! And so I think I feel like if he what would give you that inclination? The Rockhold fight? The no, Marvel not Toy the Rockhold fight. They fight. lost or the Izzy fight? He got knocked yeah. out. That's his last three fights, Bubba. Yeah, that's a confidence issue. I just wonder, and also the reason I don't really take the rock holds for i think if luke had been uh, acclimated to the climate he would have won that fight i think he's a better fighter than i think he, when he fought him he was a better fighter more skilled than palacos i really do but um i think that uh i feel like palacosta is is able to prop whitaker's really good at staying keeping distance but i think if palacosta can press this and get him against the cage he's gonna bang he's gonna fucking bang and robert whitaker's coming off a, a loss and I, I don't know, man. I, I'm putting my money on Paulo Costa. Let's Are bet you, on it. You want to bet? Whitaker, yeah. Really? Man, $1,000 on that one. Deal. Yeah. I'll Should, take Whitaker. We, this would be a good time to get somebody on the phone uh, to Zoom yeah. somebody in. Their picks. Like Chael. You agree? You want to text him and see if he's available? And we can, like, pause this and then come back to him? You could. You ever thought about why your wireless bill is so damn expensive? Every day? I mean, it's just radio waves. You know, how much can a radio wave actually cost, okay? So big wireless seems to be, I don't know, setting some prices, okay? Um, I wish somebody would come along and make it a little cheaper. You got yeah, anybody? well, you know what? Mint Mobile will give you that choice. Right now, Mint Mobile has wireless plans starting as, at $15 a month. Is That's it unlimited, unlimited, though? Unlimited talk. And text plus data for fifteen dollars a month. Okay, uh, what you yes. tell me for anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for fifteen bucks a month. Yeah, unlimited talk and text plus high speed data delivered on the nation's largest five G network. Okay, choose from three, six, or twelve month plans and say goodbye to monthly phone bill. And they give you the best rate. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying for one or a family. And at Mint, family start at two lines. How's Ooh, that? Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Mm. Switch to Mint Mobile and get your first three months premium wireless service start at just 15 bucks a month. Yep, to get your new wireless plan for just $15 a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash fighter. That's mintmobile.com slash fighter. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month. A mintmobile.com slash fighter is all you got to type in. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Look, Fighter and the Kid is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Let's face it. Thank God for insurance, buddy. Sometimes multitasking can be overwhelming. Like when your favorite podcast is playing and the person next to you is talking, right? And but then again, our podcast cuts through all the noise. It just does. But either way, sometimes multitasking is easy, like quoting with Progressive Insurance, okay? Dude, they, they do make the hard it easy. work. They, they make do it the easy. Hard, they compare rates so you can find a great rate that works for you, even if it's not, if it's not with them. Give their nifty comparison tool a try, and you might just find getting the rate and coverage you deserve is easy. All you need to do is visit Progressive's website to get a quote with all the coverages you want, like comprehensive and collision coverage or personal injury protection. Then you'll see Progressive's direct rate, and their tool will provide options from other companies all lined up and ready to compare, so it's simple to choose the rate and coverages you like. Press play on comparing auto rates. Quote at Progressive.com to join the 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. But um, I like that bet for me. I like that bet. Paulo Costa? Yeah. And then who you got in the main event? 
I'm n- I, I will never vote. I will never bet against Volk in the 45 pound weight class. No, me neither. So I, I will go. Then with what about Alexander Volk Machado Hodge. and Jeff Neal? You don't I'm, know Jeff Neal. So I'm going to go with uh, Ian Machado Gary only because mm. I'm biased. Yeah, and you're a That's an talk. emotional choice. Yeah. I'm going Maybe with Henry Cejudo. What? <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry. What'd you say? Wait, what did you say? I'm going Henry Cejudo. Marab? Yeah. I'll take Marab. You will, huh? Mm-hmm. Interesting. And I understand. Well, no, I mean, I'm just going to, to play Dan Henry's advocate. 36. How old is Marab? Let's see. Marab's on nine straight, I think. 33. Monster. You just feel like Henry is kind of like at, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, he's had a lot of. Now, fun. if it's Henry Cejudo four years ago, yeah. Henry all freaking day. Of course, knock him out. Yeah, I'm just saying where where he's at in his career, coming off the loss to Aljo. It's a lot of a lot of things. So you want to bet? It, I'll take Marab. Yeah, another thousand. Another thousand. This is good. It's two grand, Bubba. Yeah, well, we got to get we got to get serious. You know what I'm saying? And then I think that's all we're gonna bet on. Yeah, that's all we'll bet on. Let me see the rest of the card, Jen. I think that's all. Did we'll we bet, bet on. any money on the uh, Super Bowl? No, no, I wouldn't bet on. We that. didn't bet five. We didn't bet five grand. No, I wouldn't bet on that. <laughs> Taking advantage of your CTE. You don't have a. I've not. Yeah, seen unless you're going with Ilya Taporia. Uh, what are you saying? I've seen CTE signs. No, I haven't seen any. My, my, I got. I'm going to get checked out. My energy levels are so low. The that's, past that's three not months. CT. No, I'm. I, I'm not yeah. saying CT. It could be accumulation of uh, all the stress, concussions, and then stress. Hold on, hold on. I love this. And, I love. And, and I, then wait, all this the blood is the best. My, this is my the best. big dick. No, this is the no, best. The blood, you say you have the no blood goes in my. This big is what dick. we do because we forget. Are you aware of what you've been through for the past two weeks? Are you aware of that? Well, three weeks, yeah. Yeah, are you aware of that? Your 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 baby daughter almost perishing. Yeah. You know you know what that does? This call it's called after effect. Oh, then remember the week before that, I was uh-huh. in a horrible accident. My you, yeah, you truck got concussed for real. Yes, and and so which we um, will post a video. Yeah, but no, but that was during your, the stuff you were going through. Actually, no, it, it was it was well, right it was before. The, it was right before. Was it before right shit before. hit the fan? I mean, she's like never the been. Next day. She's she never was, been. She great. was already having trouble breathing. But she God was, was having, like, God was like, hold on, your you baby girl's gonna be fucked up. More. Let me do it. Yeah, and then you weren't sleeping at all, so your energy Still levels not. are super low. Still yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you never stop to take a minute, so that's good for you. My and, energy levels are. And you so have bad. yeah, and yeah. I'm so, just going. To, I'm going to get checked out. I'm going to get my blood work done. You should do that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You should do. I know. I set up. But I. But I also think that you should also make sure you're sleeping. I sleep. Yeah. And I mean, I don't get 10 hours. I wake up at 4, and, and, and but I go to bed think, at 9.30. Do you think that carnivore diet, as long as you've been doing it, do you feel like you could use some more carbs? I'll mix in some carbs. I okay. mix in some carbs. That's good. Just not heavy carbs. But, but you're just low my energy. My diet's always been, yeah. So I'm, it's like, you know what? I'm just tired. Yeah. So it's like uh, my grandfather died. My grandmother died. Oh. And How old I, was she? she? She was 83, but I was very close to her. She was my, you know, I was a young man. And I was, I remember, I keep everything inside. I don't, uh, I don't show it. You're like I a don't Russian. Show much. You're I very keep, Russian yeah. in that. When respect. was this? I, I just, no matter what's going on with me, just so you know, I keep it deep down inside so you wouldn't think anything's up with me ever. And uh, so I fucking, um, and I, that's not good. It's not healthy. And my grandfather died. And the next day, I, uh, I walk my grandmother to the casket. I'm sorry, my grandmother dies. And I fucking, I can't figure out why when I'm working out with Jimmy Burke, why my body is super tight. Yeah. I can't even bend down to touch my toes. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. My body's fucking tight. And Jimmy goes, maybe that's because you just said goodbye to somebody you've known your whole yeah. life, you fucking psycho. Get it together, yeah. dude. No, no, I gotta, I gotta go do work. Do what? Do what? Shut up. So yeah, it yeah, makes I get, sense. I get you get checked out. Well, or or just give yourself a minute, dude. Give yourself get, some grace. Get yourself get yourself checked out, but give the, yourself a minute. The, the the kiddo stuff got me, and the flip in my truck definitely got me. Yeah. But even even before, it hasn't been great. I know my energy's been tough. Yeah. Don't you think it's been like that since she was born? Though you've been kind of living in a constant yeah, she, state of anxiety. Yeah, but she's two months old. Even before that, pretty tired. No, you've been through a lot of stuff, but you're not also allowing yourself to. You know, 
I don't know. Go through it. I don't know. Either way, I get my. I get into fish. Then I'm gonna get into trucks. <laughs> Moving forward. No, those are hobbies. That doesn't that doesn't stress me out. Yeah. No work. I know, I know stress, it doesn't. I'm not saying out. it doesn't stress you. Yeah. I'm saying you got to sometimes kind of like just let it hit you. Yeah. You ever hear Hicks and Gracie talk about that? No. He said that. He said once he realized. Once he. I'm not saying this is you. I'm just saying that he said. I spent so much time dealing, sort of acting like the death of my son was something I could handle. And then I, he said something to the effect of, I realized that I couldn't handle it. That, 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 yeah, that's I, different. That, that I, I had to hit rock bottom. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, but, yeah. but it's just interesting because I think there's a, there's a lesson to be learned in all of that stuff. So I got to get checked out, though, because then they can tell what's going on. You two are cool. nonstop, though. Nonstop. You never take a break. No. I mean, whenever I he like, hear your schedules, it's ridiculous. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's add, hey, let's add a trip to Austin. I'll, I can't, I'll keep going. Yeah. And I'll work out like a motherfucker, too. I'm sore as fuck from yesterday. I went and did a CrossFit workout. Good stuff, Bri. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's why my body looks like this. All right, let's go. What else you got, Jen? Look, we're going to shout out to uh, True Classic, the we're company. Shout out! I have God, more. Are you from 1997? I, I am. I am from 1997. Big shout out here. I am. I am because these shirts would have looked great in 97 or now. And I remember the first time I put on a True Classic uh, shirt, I I swear to God, I remember. In fact, it was our buddy Stevie who was like, "I love these shirts," and I tried it on, and I went, "I love these shirts because they make me feel." Like I'm a little more muscular than I am. They're t the genius of the company was that the creator, the founder said, hey, T-shirts make me feel skinny. They're too long. These things stop just where they're supposed to. They hug the shoulders and chest and they're loose in the front. And that makes you feel like you're just a little more buff. And I don't know about all that. I just like them because the material, the quality, they're soft. I rock the white ones all the freaking oh, time. Great. People ask where I get I them. It's all true classic. All my merch is true classic. Yeah, but now they've expanded. They're not just t-shirts. They've got chino pants. They've got buttons up. Dude, the joggers, the hoodies. Joggers, hoodies. You, they got sweaters now. The sweaters are the softest things I've ever felt. So just take a look at it. The price is right. Ever, I've never met anybody who didn't go out, order their true classic bundle, and wasn't completely happy with everything. They got great bomber jackets. That's the one I rock I all the time. I they got it all, man. True Classic is committed to their products. They even have a 100% perfect fit guarantee, easy returns. Look, look, upgrade your closet right now. All right, we'll give you 25% off. Go to trueclassic.com slash fighter and save up to 25% off your first order. No matter how you move, make 2024 your most comfortable year yet with True Classic. You will wear them everywhere all the time once again that's trueclassic.com slash fighter and save up to 25 percent off your first order talk to me about o'reilly i need spark plugs i need wiper blades i need stuff for my car well okay? you wouldn't need spark plugs you have an electric terrible car but, but you I would need truck, wiper blades right. you would need wiper blades you could do that um i'll install them for you i guess it's o rewards bonus points month all month long at o'reilly auto parts shop in store or online to receive points Get rewards sent straight to your phone or inbox. Get two, three, four, even five times bonus points on select purchases. Receive bonus points on select items throughout the store like wiper blades be. Antifreeze, you don't need I that need either. Antifreeze. Coolant, you don't need because your coolant. stupid car. All right. Parts cleaner, motor oil, which you don't need for your stupid okay, car. Okay. And there's so much more. These bonus points can help you get to your next reward even faster. You'll receive $5 reward for every 150 O reward points to use on your next in-store or online purchase. Members can check points and rewards online anytime. If you're an already an O rewards member and not receiving your rewards, just add your email address or mobile phone number. Mm. You get 10 bucks reward for updating your existing account. If you're not an O reward re member yet, O rewards member yet, sign up is quick, easy online at O'ReillyAuto.com or in store at O'Reilly Auto Parts. I use them all the time. Wow. All the there time. There you go. Oh, O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Yeah. So What's, so, what's that? what is that dumb look on Bad Bunny Bad is boy. maybe trying to upstage Drake a little bit on Instagram. He was going live and he was posting some wild stuff here. Did he show his wing wing? Well, sort of. <laughs> oh. Why'd he do that? <laughs> Guys are just trying to show what they're working with. He's a mess. I want to hear 
Brian's reaction because you shamed me. I, I'm very happy with that. That that looks like he's doing well there. But his also, looks bigger than Drake. Yeah, it does. But I also don't get this. Like I don't get what guys are doing. What are you doing? What is this? Shit I don't. But he was live on. He was live on Instagram, and I think he was just so. Uh, did well, someone say what? That much more attention. Did someone say what that dick do? And he was like, check it out. This is so weird to me. And plus, you could stick anything in there. <laughs> but but also it's just weird. It's like what are you doing here? Remember the game used to do it. Yeah, the whole his thing was hilarious though. The whole, well, that's a dick. Yeah, so you're right with that. But that, well, that thing well, looks pretty should, sauced up. When there. the game did that, it should be the end. Hmm. Like I think the game when the game did that with his dick, no one else should be trying to compete with that shit. It should be the end. Like he, you won, bro. But Drake's wasn't supposed to get out. Someone leaked it. But Bad Bunny, it just—I don't know. Maybe he gets wild. Who is on his Bad Instagram. Bunny? Who is this guy? Very famous oh, come musician. On. He's huge. He's, he's massive. Oh, he's dating he Kylie. Super yeah, very famous. popular. They said that guy is it, is Krill, Krill leaked Drake's. What'd you say? The guy whose name is Krill, the slut whisperer. He's the one who leaked Drake's, you know, I video. Know and now is. Drake is suing him. So oh, wow. Krill's asking for his fans to like send him money to pay for to it. To pay for Yeesh. the lawsuit. I think Yeesh. this is all like I, I. This is what I hate about American culture and my culture in general. Maybe I'm an old guy. I think it's. I think it's. When you say it, my culture, not, you mean white? I'm just talking about culture. Do you mean white culture? No, I'm talking about American culture, where it's all about look at me, no me, matter me, what, me. I'll do anything I can, anything I can, spectacle. He's just like, look at this. Oh, yeah? I got well, a dick, too. Well, that's what All I was right. saying. Well, the dick you. stuff is whatever. That's what I was saying with like that influencer, Sneeko, went to the the UFC Institute and fought uh, Sean, Sean Strickland. Strickland. Like but even on Sean Strickland's that like all of it's just like, look at me. Look what I'm doing. I'm, being, I'm like, yeah, is there better ways to get views? Also, I wouldn't, yeah. Also, I, if I was Sean, I wouldn't have fought that. Guys but it's all but, it, but remember it's all calculate because a you have to be at the ufc institute so the ufc has to sign off on it b sneeko has to uh sign papers to fight sean strickland force griffin's there jake shields there you have the ufc in, the ufc it's shooting it it's an event it's all calculated it's not like you know so it's just all like a publicity stunt Sneeko's the one who was trolling uh frankie mikey uh, mikey mikey, mikey. Mushimeshi. Mushimeshi. god is it we, 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 i I wish I'd seen. Brian just got. I wish I'd seen what a genius Mikey Musumeshi. We had him on the. Were you, yeah, he was yeah, on the show. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't like go down the rabbit you hole. Didn't do any research. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. I've watched a lot of jujitsu. I've never seen that. I think we just have some. Joe I've Schmo never on seen. The show? I've never seen anybody use their legs like that. It's it's weird. It's like he's a chimp. He's got four arms. I've never seen anything like that shit. Yeah, that is savage. wild, savage, like. Dude, how about my boy uh, Gordon Ryan's TRX got stolen from the front of his house? That's so crazy. So these criminals had the balls to jack the most dangerous dude on the planet's <sighs> TRX, $100,000 fucking back. truck, at the front of his house. <laughs> and then Gordon got it back. Yeah. So, you know, cops Let me see how he got it back. Find your car. How did he uh, get it? We'll get to that. Cops won't find your car. Oh, they will. Yeah, no. they will. Uh, so just so you know, too, to be like the t Dodges in general, we have a Hellcat. If it has a Hellcat engine, it's 6,000 more likely to get stolen. They're easier to break in than any other really? car. It's a real problem with TRXs, Demons, Challengers, Chargers. Because Dodge skimped on the on the, the fobs mm -hmm. and the communication between the car and the fob, uh, criminals have a really easy access to a it. remote, okay. So it's 6,000 mm -hmm. more likely to get stolen than any other car on the market. Jeez. Huge issue for Mopar guys. Uh, some content coming soon, but here are the facts. Once the ram was gone, I made a post putting the alert out. Then I then contacted my police buddies in Hayes C County, Austin PD. I um, also had LEO officers from around the country contact me asking how they could help. I had the entire state of Texas looking for this truck. Just dis despite disabling the track of the rams, have a secondary built-in tracker that can dis can't be disabled that many people don't know about. I didn't know that. Within six hours, we had eyes on the truck. Within two days, we had it in possession. I can't give too much info who they are or what they do yet, but just know your cars aren't safe in the Austin area. This is a much bigger issue than I thought it was. Be ready and willing to take your life to defend yourself and your property. Jesus. So here's the thing about the reason they can find cars so easily now when they get stolen. There's, there's, if, if they don't have ghost plates on that car, if they don't take it right to a chop shop, they're going to catch, they're going to find it. And the reason they're going to find it is because a lot of people don't realize that not only when a cop cars are, have an automatic thing where they, they have a camera that's always running license plates. When they see a license plate, run it, run it, run it, run it. That's number one. Number two, we have on a lot of blocks, which people don't know, basically cameras that also do that with every 
every license plate. So the minute a car stolen, any turn they make, any neighborhood they're in, that that camera is taking a picture of that license plate, running. It comes up stolen. It sends the signal automatically to the nearest patrol car. The patrol car comes and finds them. So that's almost always how they get it. Hmm. So my car was stolen in L.A. and they go, "We'll get it. We'll get it to you. We'll find it in 24 hours, unless they've already brought it into a shop and stuff." But if it's out there with the same license plate, we'll find it within 24 hours. There's no question. And I was like, "Damn!" And they did. Found it in 12 hours. Yeah, the smart ones aren't keeping the same license plate. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> that's right it's very easy to that's so cool you got his truck back though now remember if you aren't gordon ryan you're probably not having the entire state of texas look for your truck it's a real problem especially in la real problem yeah wow thank god he got it back though i was talking with him you know because we both have trx i go dude i can't wait to go trx he goes dude i would do anything he goes forget the truck i'd do anything to catch those guys huh He's like, I just need five minutes with him. I was like, oh, I'd rather have the truck back, dude. Yeah. He just wants to him. squeeze him. Oh, no, man. Grim. Those criminals have no clue. Do <laughs> you think they knew? No. Uh, maybe. Maybe it was the inside job. I don't know if he mm -hmm. posts about it. They, everyone knows he has a TRX. But to go to his house, that dude comes I've... out in his undies? But also to go to somebody's <sighs> house with a truck like that in Texas, you know they have guns. You know <laughs> that that kind <laughs> of truck but, but is the, not those being owned by a Those criminals also have guns. They you know? do, they do. It's that's a the dangerous thing. thing. Uh, that's that's what I would say is that somebody if a, you got two guys stealing your truck, running out to fight them is not a good idea. No, it's that's why you have insurance. That's how you get Let shot. Them do the thing. You don't want to get shot. You call the cops. You know, you get you want to get easier said than done. Yeah. I would freak out if I saw someone stealing my truck. Would you? Oh my god. Yeah, would like I find it a little hard to think you'd sit inside the house. I have guns though, so. Would you grip them? Give them a little squeeze? I don't know. What I, and I just want my truck, man. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Just get, get go somewhere else. <laughs> hey, uh, that's please. How, that's how I Come be. on, I got a gun. That's how I am. And then, hey, 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 guys. Hey, 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 come on. Don't, don't on my truck. I love this thing. It's taking forever to build. Just, just be cool. Go somewhere else. That's, that's I'm how not going to call anybody. Just be cool. Yeah, that's right. Don't that's make right. me shoot you, man. That's right. What else you got, Jen? Real quick on that. So I, I saw someone sit in my car at one time. I thought it was a friend of mine because I was getting ready for work, and that's when I, you know, leave, you know, started warming, warming up the car back in the days. I trusted the neighborhood, and a cholo was sitting in my car, and as I'm walking to him, I'm like, do I know this guy? And then he's trying to like back up, trying to steal the car. So I, did, I had no guns or anything, so I came out with a pool stick. Hell yeah! And we just had this whatever square off thing. He couldn't move it because I put my parking brake on. He couldn't figure he out couldn't my parking, parking brake. Yeah. So look, you know the be the you know the best on. way to make sure your car didn't get stolen by a manual. They'll just fuck mean? up all your gears. No, buy, they don't know how to drive manual. manual. Oh, yeah. no, 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 these, these, these kids who are stealing cars, where there's kids, they, none of them know how to drive a manual. They don't know what the fuck to do. These days? Yeah, these days. No one knows. Or have a Tesla. Oh. No one's stealing Tesla. Know what I mean, bro? <laughs> no one's stealing them. Well, it's an iPad. The robbers we go, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Even the broke ones go, I don't want to look gay. Yeah, but dude, it's the only thing we can steal. I'm good, man. I'd rather not how eat. About, how about my Uber this morning, early in the morning from Florida? It just goes, um, he goes, uh, he picks me up in a Tesla 3. And uh, I go, Tesla 3, I have one of these. And he goes, it's my wife's car. <laughs> 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 he was like a guy my age, but like a real Florida dude. And I go, oh, I go, you, what do you think of it? And he goes, I don't like it. <laughs> and I go, oh, what do you have? And he's like, I'm. Some Ford, something. yeah, F-150, yeah, F-150, 250, something like that. So Travis Scott was performing at Hakkasan, and I've never noticed this at Hakkasan, but I guess some of the rooms you can see from inside the nightclub, and a couple was just getting it on uh -huh. during his set. Uh -huh. Let me see. They're having sex in the boom boom room at the club. <laughs> Can't play that. Plenty of four years. Wait. Oh, but the, their window's just wide open. Is that Japanese? Uh, <laughs> is that in Japan? This is in Vegas, right? Yeah, it's at Hakkasan at MGM. He oh. just realized his window's open. Oh. I think they left it open on purpose. Oh, I see. So people couldn't tell. Oh, shit. No, they left their window. But you can just shut those. Got to, imagine having a room That's in a nightclub, though. That's very interesting. Yeah, <laughs> I would imagine they knew. Oh, they knew. Or they're, or they're drunk and just wanted to get down, you know? Happens. Wow. 
Good for them. Good for them. All right. So this one was pretty wild, guys. So this guy, mid-flight, ends up just gushing blood out of his nose and his Ebola. ears. Ebola. I, I don't know, right? Fuck. But Is that gushing what they said, blood. Ebola? Well, that's, what ha that's a hemorrhagic fever. If you start bleeding from everywhere, yeah. that's not good. That's, that's, that can definitely be a hemorrhagic fever of Leaders some kind. of blood coming out of his nose? Yeah, that's yeah. really horrifying. And that's a really good way to, uh, to catch Ebola. Unless he got poisoned or something, but that's... I don't know. Damn. All they say is his breathing looked a little jarred. But... Jesus Christ. I hope there's no kids on that flight. I'd be scared if I was on the flight. Yeah. If you catch whatever the hell that yeah. is. I wonder why. I wonder what that is. It said blood gushed out of the man's nose and mouth. Holy shit. Sounds like he got poisoned. But if he got on um, the flight, he probably wasn't poisoned, right? Because that hits pretty fast. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. That's a hemorrhagic fever. That's a hemorrhagic thing. That's something like. Ah, I wonder if he got some sort of booster before the flight. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Don't start spreading these rumors, dude. No, I don't. No, I'm not talking on, bro. Like normal stuff. You don't. No, see. man, you're you're I being know, irresponsible. Man. What else you got, Jen? What a terrible way to go, though. Yeah. Talk about way to go. This guy's playing soccer in the middle of a field in Indonesia, and lightning strikes him and kills and him. Yep. Oh, man, he died? Yep. In a friendly soccer match. Yep, he didn't happen. turn into the Flash? He died well, later at the hospital. It'll just hospital. happen, dude. You just get electrocuted, and it sucks. But why does the lightning hit the field? Doesn't it go for Watch how fast it is. You should try to move out of the way, but you won't be able to. Move out of the way? <laughs> oh, that was insane. Oh, my God. <laughs> The chosen one. This is what happens, dude. Dude, dude that's like God with a s sniper it lightning really gun is. going. Doosh. It really is. It really is. You know what your odds are getting hit by that? That's terrible, it's man. It's so crazy. You just got caught. Damn. Man, you got struck by lightning. Damn. Man. This one looks Yeah. What a terrible way to go. Okay, we talked about Super Bowl. Would no. you rather go by the lightning or by the, the guy... Uh, the lightning, yeah, lightning. It's gonna be quick. Not, <laughs> you know. But the lightning guy made it to the hospital and then later died from the yeah, burn. But he was out. He was out. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. What's this? We talked about Super Bowl. Apparently, the 49ers came out and a bunch of the players admitted they did not even know what the new overtime rules were. They're not that new. They're not, They're not that, new. that new. And the Chiefs came out and said, not only did we know them, we actually created scenarios for them. So yeah. when B's talking earlier about just dumb mistakes on the Niners part, like this is embarrassing. Yeah, but that's also weird. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird they didn't know that. Well, yeah. But what's weird is that Kyle Shannon, because you'd want to play defense first so you know exactly what you have to do in order to win the game in overtime. You don't want offense first. It's not like back in the day where if you score, whoever scores wins. Mm -hmm. Like if that team scores, you get the opportunity to score. Yeah. So you want defense first. Absolutely. They won the toss and picked the offense first, uh, which is very strange. Weird. Oh, really? So yeah. explain that. So, so you... Because you're going to want to know exactly what you have to get in order to win the game. Mm. Oh, so gotcha. if you win the toss, you're like defense. So if they only score, uh, if they get three points, you then we know the game's over we score a touchdown. Yeah. You know? Which was odd to me, too, because I think they thought if they scored, they won. But yeah. each team gets a possession. Yeah. Unless it's a safety. I like that, though. I, like, I don't like sudden death. I like yeah. that each team gets a possession for sure. Yeah, I like college overtime better. But. But God, it was a crazy. I can't believe they won again. It's crazy. Man. Where he goes, uh, Kyle, the fullback, who's a baller, said he assumed the 49ers asked to receive when they won the toss because that's what you do in a regular season. When a touchdown wins the game. I guess that's not the case. I don't really know the strategy. It was a great game. I thought it was a great game. Chris Jones, man. Interesting. Phenomenal. How are you going to be at that level and not what the, know what the rules are, though? Well, bet they know him now. Is that it? Uh, you want one more? Yeah. Sure. Oh, this one. I thought this was pretty cool. This is from Stoner Sports Network. I'll just play it. The guy, 
He talks over it. This is actually the craziest thing I've seen all day. Had Ole Miss taking on number one South Carolina. And let me tell you, folks, this is bigger than basketball. She out of the frame, but peep shorty on defense. Right here, watch what happened when she fall. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Her whole wig then fell off her head. Watch again. Slow-mo. Looked like South Carolina player tripped over her hair. This is honestly insane. Craziest part about the whole situation is this was way bigger than the basketball game. Everybody on that court felt shorty pain. They all circled around to help her. Opponents, uh, teammates. I love those girls for that. Everybody was on her side. That I is love the those girls. thing you expect to happen during the basketball game. It Good for those girls. Unity. Don't know about Women know. Talk about the game. You know that ref right there looking like, can we please hurry this up? Also cool that they found some humor in the situation. You can see they laughing and smiling. Pow Pow was the only one that really ain't give a fuck. You're looking like, yeah, she need a better hairdresser because that shit ain't moving her at all. <laughs> Down over there just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Like, you said, what now? It was from competitiveness to instant compassion. I ain't gonna lie, I've seen a lot of basketball and it's a first for me. And Cardosa thought that shit was funny as hell. That is actually insane. You see something new every day. He did fix her wig and continue to hoop. Oh, this is actually the I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> Teamwork. That's cool. Stop the game. Somebody's wig came off. <laughs> Crazy, man. Come on, man. Crazy, Unity. Man. Unity. Unity is right. Unity, man. At least I they like protect that, her. The question is, would dudes do that for each other? No. <laughs> Dude's wigs aren't going to fall off. But if it did the equivalent of something, I don't know. I well, like remember that. LeBron had that the thing. The girls were all like, all right. <laughs> Jordan? LeBron had his he hair. Had that, like, yeah, he had his hair and done. And they were like yelling at his teammates or yelling at him or something. Most guys would make way. fun of it. Like, oh, yeah. They'd be like, yeah, Yo, you look good, man. Then just laugh. Mm -hmm. Speaking of teamwork, Friday the Kid is in Austin Thursday. That's this Thursday. One show only at the Vulcan, February 15th. Friday the Kid is live. Yeah, baby. Come see me at the well, February 23rd in Bakersfield. Rec Room, February 24th, Huntington Beach, California. Then Louisville Comedy Club, March 1 and 2. Let's go. Bricktown Comedy Club after that, March 8 and 9. I can't stop. I can't, and I won't. And then I'm at the Vancouver House of Comedy. Uh, check it out, everybody. All right, kids. Love you.